ברצוננו להזמין את פרופסור ג'וזפינה רדריק רודריגז אריבס מהאקדמיה למדעים פולין שאני מכירה אותה טוב מתוך ספר כלי הנחושת שהיא גרסה לטינית שהיא הכירה. שלמה סלע ואני קרוסט פאס מני טיימס אינדה לאסט שו דקייטס דיורינג וויץ' ווי בוף have been in the field of Jewish studies and medieval science. We cross paths in person, conferences and workshops where we both were invited, a workshop at the World War Institute in 2004 and a conference on Jewish calendars in 2012, among others. Our shows were one of us invited the other, the workshop he organized in Athens in 2012, or the one I organized in Erlangen in 2015. We exchanged quite a number of emails about medieval astronomy and astrology. We also crossed paths sometimes very tightly in our research topics. Several of my publications related one way or the other to Eshlomo's contributions to medieval astrology, especially when dealing with Abraham Ibn Ezra's astrological text, or with Abraham Barjillas and Abraham Ibn Ezra's stellar terminology. For that reason, we were invited to peer review the works of the other on several occasions. But I always had two strong connections with Eshlomo, that are behind my decision to speak today about him, to remember him as a person to the extent I reach to know the person and as a scholar. In my view, we always bring what we are to the field we work, especially when we invest so many hours every day for many years in a subject that occupies our head, but also frequently resonates deeply in our hearts. I have no doubts that Shlomo carefully studied his subject, but also loved it. In this, I admire the scholar and the person. My first emotional connection with Shlomo was our shared mother language, Spanish. I am sure you understand this emotional link especially if you are an outsider in Jewish culture and language, live in a foreign country as myself right now, and usually meet colleagues who rarely speak your mother language. I discovered that Spanish was Eshlomo's mother language the first time I met him, of course, in 1999 in Tel Aviv, to discuss the topic of my PhD dissertation. I had read his wonderful Hebrew book based on his dissertation on astrology in the biblical commentaries of Abraham Ibn Ezra. Despite the Shlomo's outstanding contribution, I thought there was still more to do to fully understand Ibn Ezra's enigmatic allusions to stellar topics in his biblical commentaries and decided to do this in my dissertation. Shlomo made everything in his hand to persuade me to abandon Ibn Ezra's Hebrew text and turn to the Latin ones. He was very strong-headed, you know, but I am also of the same kind and kept my decision. My second strong connection with Shlomo has already been mentioned. Abraham Ibn Ezra the polymath, the astrologer, the biblical commentator, the poet, the writer who filled his writings with sodot and enigmatic references to the sciences. Eshlomo and I share a fascination for Ibn Ezra's language and Ibn Ezra's use of astrology in unexpected ways and context. It turns out that with Eshlomo, I might be one of the few scholars able to fully grasp hidden astrological references in Abraham Ibn Ezra's writings. This circumstance places me in a position to fully appreciate Eshlomo's wonderful contribution. 
This is a powerful connection indeed. I admire how dedicatedly Shlomo devoted most of his career to unveiling and understanding the astrological work of this remarkable medieval Jew, whom my teacher at the Universidad Complutense in Madrid, Angel Said Vadillos, liked to call the first European. I can imagine Shlomo smiling at the thought that forever his name and even Ezra's name will always be together for those who consult any of the books on the different branches of astrology composed by Ibn Ezra in Hebrew and translated into Latin by his students. Eslomo edited, translated, and commented on practically all of them. He is already, Eslomo is already a member of the long and rich tradition of scholars commenting on and finding inspiration in Ibn Ezra's writings. From his position, now, Eslomo is undoubtedly the last of the super commentators of Ibn Ezra, and a very good one. Thank you. <laughs>